looks like the fire needs some attention. This should work. Oh, hi. Hello. Is that a journal? Yeah, my mom makes me keep one. She says it's a good way to develop my writing skills for college someday. That makes sense. I should do that too. I'm trying to think of a word that best describes this trip. Hmm, how about memorable? Memorable? Are you serious? Sure, why not? You're never going to forget it, that's for sure. I was thinking more along the lines of awful, terrible, dreadful, or horrific. But that's so negative. How can it not be negative? We've been stranded here for like five days with no end in sight. But it's only been two and a half. Well, it feels like five. Hey, just try not to think about it, okay? Yeah, right. Hey, it's working well for me. At least better than this fire is doing right now. Okay, let's see. Where was I? Oh, uh, yes. Oh! Are you okay? <laughs> I think so. Did you take my chair? Uh, what? I don't know. Did I? It's okay. <laughs> I'll just grab another one. So, what are you reading? Um, this was Family Robinson. Never heard of it. Um, are you kidding me? You've never heard of the Swiss Family Robinson? No, so what? Well, it just so happens to be one of the greatest adventure stories ever written. Is that so? Oh yeah, it's a classic. May I see it? Sure. And this helps keep your mind off our situation? Um, oh yeah, you can read it after we're done, after I'm done if you want. What's it about? Oh, it's full of adventure. A family gets swept off course by a raging storm, and then they lose their boat, and then they end up on a deserted island for like 10 years. Kind of like we're experiencing right now. What? Oh, yeah, maybe. No, thank you. Okay. okay. Ah, there we go. <laughs> right, back. Zane, you did it again. Are you okay? Um, I think I'm gonna go fishing. <laughs> uh, that was weird. Not really. You took his chair. Oh, I did? Sorry, Zane! So, uh, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just recording all of these precious experiences we're having, so someday when I'm old, I can tell my grandchildren what a terrible time I had in the jungle. No offense, of course. Look, I know I'm a terrible skipper, and I'm sorry you've had me as your guide, but you could be a little nicer, though. Huh. Is he all right? Who knows? Oh, uh, may I sit down? Uh, sure, if you want to. Let me fix it. Hmm. You know, for what it's worth, I don't think it's his fault that we're in this situation. It really could have happened to anyone. I suppose, but it still doesn't change the fact that we're stuck in the jungle and I don't want to be here. <coughs> um, Ugh, did you hear that? I did. I'm hungry too. Honestly, I don't know how much longer I can stand this. Well, it's bad. There's no doubt about it. Wait, you think so too? Well, sure. Why? You just seem so happy all the time. I can't figure it out. Well, the truth is, I'm not always happy, but I'm thankful. How can you possibly be thankful in a situation like this? It's miserable. Well, it's not easy, believe me. But then I remind myself that no one has ever endured as much as my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. What do you mean? Well, think about it. The creator of the universe uh, took on the limitations of a human body. He was born in a small town, laid in a feeding trough, for animals, and then he lived on this earth for 30 some years, got tired and hungry, and suffered pain and sadness just like we do. And then, after all the wonderful things that he did, he was crucified. 
even though he was completely and totally innocent. Wow. Huh. Cassie, do you think that you're going good enough to go to heaven some, when you die? I think so. I mean, I'm a lot better than my friends. Well, I used to think that I was good enough too. But a friend told me, uh, she showed me in the Bible that I was wrong. I wasn't good enough. In fact, nobody is. Nobody? The Bible actually says that. Well, it sure does. And it says, we've all disobeyed God's commands over and over, and there's nothing that we can do to make it right. Well, that sounds hopeless. Well, yes, it does, but it isn't. That's why I am so thankful. God made a way for us to be forgiven of all of our sins. Do you know why he did? No. He sent Jesus. That's why he came, you see. When Jesus died on the cross and was raised from the dead, he paid the penalty for our sin so we could be with him in heaven someday. It was like a grand rescue mission. Wait, so do you mean we're all going to heaven? No, only those who believe in Jesus who are in God's forever family. Are you in God's family? I don't know. Would you like to know? I just don't feel like I'm ready. Well, you know, you don't have to get your act together to come to him. All you need to do is come. Mm, maybe some other time. You really shouldn't put it off. There's no guarantee for tomorrow. I understand, but right now, I just need to clear my head. Okay, honey. Dear Lord, thank you that I was able to share the good news with you and with Cassie. Please soften her heart and help her to see how much she needs you. Amen. Oh, how I love talking about Jesus. Where is everybody? Well, Cassie went that way. Uh, I don't know where everybody else is. I'm not sure about the others at all. Hmm. Not at all. Were you having a nap? Oh, no. I was reading the Bible that you let me borrow. Oh, you were? That whole time? Yes. I must have read for like three solid hours. Here, thank you so much for letting me borrow it. Oh, no. It's yours now. I keep have two, one to keep, one to give away. Oh, well, thank you. Um, well, yeah. uh, so did you read the book of John? I did, and Acts, and Romans too. Wow, <sighs> that's no. a big dose of theology for what you, what did you think? Yes, well, what do I think? I think that I'm a believer now, just like you. What? Yes. I really do believe that Jesus is God and the only savior of the world. And I believe that he died and rose for me. And I believe that I'm forgiven and I'll be with Jesus in heaven someday. Well, that's amazing. I was just praying that God uh, would come and rescue Cassie and now he's rescuing you. Uh, and guess what? What? He's not done rescuing. I hear a boat! A boat? Oh, I hear it too. Well, thank you, Lord. <gasps> yes! Whew. We're safe. Oh, good. <sighs> Boy, are we glad to see you. And I'm glad I found you. Is everyone all right? Oh, yes. We're fine. <laughs> but hungry, I'm sure. Uh, aren't we hungry? I brought you some bananas. You are the an answer to a prayer. That's what you are. Well, when CJ didn't check into the second stop, I knew something went wrong. And I'd have been here sooner, but the river was blocked with all those trees that fell in the storm. Oh, boy. So, um, where's your boat? Um, oh. well, uh, it was lost in the storm. Well, and Skipper feels really, really bad about it. Well... As long as everyone's safe, that's the really important thing. Yeah. Uh, where is CJ, by the way? Oh, I don't Somebody know. help! What's wrong? It's the skipper. Uh, he's wrestling a crocodile. A crocodile? Oh no! Oh, let's go! Run, 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 run
run, 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 run. Hey, hey, hey. Thursday cardio day. Hey, hey, hey. 